Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Hello guys, what's up? For people who don't know me, hi, my name is Noah and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today's YouTube video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about my third trimester. We are soon at the end. I cannot believe it. I will actually tell y'all how many weeks we have left, has slash how many days. So right now I'm in my 31st week and I'm also soon done with my 31st week. So I have around 60 days left until he is born, until his due date. So it's so exciting. It's kind of nerve wracking, kind of like too many emotions to even put into one sentence. Um, so I got some questions that I'm going to go through. First of all, I'm going to tell you guys some facts about little baby boy. And then we're going to go into some questions that y'all ask me. If you guys have any specific video that you would like me to film, that you would like me to do, then please comment them down below. Click, please click the subscribe button. It would really, really help me out. And yeah, so I think we should get into this video. So baby boy um, is 3 pounds and 15 ounces. It's around a kilo and a half for all my European watchers. Um, he's getting very big. My bump is getting very big. If you would like to see my bump, I am regular, regularly, oh my god, can, <laughs> I cannot even like talk really. Um, I'm posting stuff on my TikTok and on my Instagram. I'm going to leave all my social medias down below or at the end of this video so you can choose from where you want to get it from. But, yeah, he's getting really big. I have a lot of, um, there's, like, a stupid fly here. Um, that's usually where I'm a lot of, a lot active on. And then also on here, but, um, or you can also watch my last video where you can see my bump. So, um, what else? I am starting my every two-week appointment and every week appointment, and that's so exciting. He's getting so big, and I cannot wait to finally meet him, and yeah, so let me get into some questions that y'all ask me, and um, I'm so excited to see what you guys ask me. So, the first question is, do you have a birth plan? Yes and no, and what I mean by yes and no, so for people who do not know, let me quick adjust my camera. For people who do not know what a birth plan is, a birth plan is so your medical team, when you go into labor, can kind of figure out um, what you want, when you want it, and all of that stuff. So I kind of know what my birth plan is, what I, what I do want to get, what pain control I want to get, and all of that. But it's pretty much what they anyway give to you at my hospital because I talked to my doctor about it. And um, so, yeah, so I, I don't have a fixed birth plan, but um, I'm, I'm going to show you guys what I actually have. My hair is getting so long. So, okay. So I got this book. I don't know if I got it from Walmart or Target. I don't remember. It says, if you can dream it, you can do it. And that's a quote from Walt Disney. And that's my kind of my pregnancy notebook. So I wrote down um, on I like a list on when the baby should arrive. And that's, that's what I did before we even went to the doctor. So, for example, um, when we when he's due and when he and we when we conceived so I can kind of know and then I just did like um, so I, I just did some checklists on stuff that I need to think that I need to get done that I got I made a list on who I want to do that pregnancy announcement to um, that I wrote down also the trimesters so from like the first trimester is from around week 1 to week 12, 
then second to from week 13 to week 26 and now week 27 to 40 is the third trimester and that's like the last sprint before he is born then I also wrote a whole I also wrote a whole list on how um, how I'm gonna tell different family members different friends I wrote a whole list on stuff that we need to get for him on baby um, um what, what was it see I already baby YouTube videos like YouTube videos that I would like to do then a uh, baby list for example just that I remember who got us what and we can thank them for we can thank them for that then um, something about his name and I'm not gonna show that because we did not tell anybody his name um, we're gonna um, no, tell people um, as soon as he's born then a list that I got from my hospital slash my um, my doctor's office and then a whole um, hospital checklist hospital bag checklist and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a YouTube video about it on what I pack for my hospital bag and then maybe after after he's born what I actually used what I didn't use and so on so if I have any mamas on here that would like to give me tips please comment them down below on what I should bring or just DM me and then I did a whole um, doctor information page on um, what I'm gonna bring to the hospital so this this comes with me to the hospital and it pretty much says who my ba my son's pediatrician is and then who my doctors are um, all that information is super super important and yeah so that's it and that's kind of like a birth plan so like my doctors are gonna know kind of what I want and also my husband can check if he doesn't remember um, next question is as you've gotten closer to your due date um, and grown did you purchase maternity clothes yes I did so I at the beginning what I did is um, instead of buying maternity clothes I just bought um, a size like an exercise up so I was here in the States I was between a small and a medium and what I got was a large and then when I got really big and I didn't want to wear oversized stuff and I wanted to wear fitted stuff a little bit more fitted because I also wanted to show off my bump so for example I got a dress that um a dress that was in the maternity section and you can always check like there's a tag and that tag will say get it in your original size so I got us I because I was in between small and medium I I was so I got the dress in a small in a small or a medium I think I got it in a medium so I can fit in um, medium fits me better than um, the small but um, so yeah so it's just that I have more comfortable like it's more comfortable sorry I have acid reflux and also what I'm doing is I'm ordering some things from Amazon that is going to be for birth for like aftercare and I can show you that I need to sneeze but it's not oh my god it's just like tingly um the next question is is sleeping so much harder a hundred percent Sleeping is harder because if you lie on one side for too long, you need to move. If you lie on the other side for too long, you need to move. Then you lie on your back, that helps for like a little bit, but then you need to move because your back hurts. So it's like, you, and you also you cannot lie on your stomach. That was my preferred position to lie on my stomach and I loved sleeping on my stomach. Um... You can, of course, you cannot sleep on your stomach because, I mean, a uh, little baby is in there. But, anyway, so I, like, moved so much around that my husband was like, oh, my God, are you done yet? Because I am so, I like, I move all the time. And then also when, when you get up, getting up is so much harder. So, yeah. 
The next question is, is the nursery finished? Well, we're, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a reveal of the nursery. I mean, you can see part of it, and that's his crib. And I'm still organizing it. We're still kind of um, arranging it, arranging everything. I mean, we still have a couple of weeks left. Couple of weeks left. Less than ten weeks we have left, but um, we ha but we try to um, arrange like little things. And also, he's not gonna have a full unless, until we're gonna move. He's not gonna have a full on nursery. He's gonna have a little corner in our uh, in our apartment. And um, yeah, so he's gonna have a little corner in our apartment. And that's what is right here behind me. And if you see, like over here is my bed. Over here is um, that's my side of the bed. Over here, that's his crib. So what I what it's really easy for me to get up, get him, um, feed him, put him back, and so on. The next thing is, do you have a name picked out yet? So like I mentioned before, yes, we do. We have a first name picked out, a middle name picked out. And a last name, of course. It's going to be our last name. Um, we are not going to announce it till not just here on YouTube, not on social media, not just on social media, but even to family. We're not going to announce his name until he's born. And that's just because I... Yeah, it, I, I just want it to be like our little thing between my husband and me. And... We're going to have like a nice cute announcement on his name. Um, the next question is, do you have you stopped working? So for anybody who's um, new to my channel or just doesn't know, whatever it may be. So I got here from Switzerland and I'm going through the visa process of getting my green card and I got part of my visa already where I can start working, I can start setting, and I can start um, traveling outside of the United States. And um, I didn't start, because I got it while I was pregnant, like in my last, I don't know how, how many weeks ago I got my, my visa, but um, I would have already gotten into would have gotten maternity leave and would have already needed to leave my job and it just didn't make any sense for me starting something up right now. Um, same thing with studying is I do want to study. I am studying just for myself, doing an online course, but I am not um, officially going to a school or I'm not officially going to a workplace and that's just my my preference. And then after he's born, um, I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom for like a little bit. Um, we don't know yet what, how, when we're going to do it. It all depends on how I feel. It depends on my husband. It depends on little baby boy. But I'm going to try to do the, I'm going to try to do whatever feels great for me, great for our family, and great for baby boy. Then, um, the next question has to do with work. Do you have maternity leave or is your husband taking time off work? So yes, my husband is taking a little bit of time off work. Um, and I have, I'm not taking maternity leave because I'm not working. And this is kind of my maternity leave on how you, however you want to see it. Um, cravings. Cravings. I had different kinds of cravings throughout my whole pregnancy. My first trimester was pretty much I had cravings plus food aversions. Food aversions um, is when you don't like something or when you dislike it or just like smell like does not fit at all and that was red meat. So I had problem eating red meat and I preferred eating like chicken or something like that or turkey even. Um, my cravings in my first trimester, I did a video about this, and I'm, I honestly, I do not remember exactly my cravings, but I do know it was McDonald's fries. Not the healthiest, but if that made me eat and not want to throw up, then we, um, we are good. Then my cravings right now is I just love sweets. 
I love fries. I love burgers. So it's usually... And salads. So, like, throughout my whole pregnancy, I was craving always something healthy. And then I had, like, my... Un like, once in a while, I had my unhealthy things. But I, lo I really was craving salads. I was craving fruits. I always made sure that whenever we went grocery shopping, there was fruits in the fridge. And, yeah. So that's what's my cravings. And, of course, chocolate. That's what I'm craving right now. Um, have you done a lot of shopping for the baby? Um, you can see some of his clothes are already hung up right here. Um, but, yeah, we have done some shopping. We're not going overboard because, first of all, I have amazing grandparents. Um, for example, like my grandmother and uh, my great aunt, they're knitting stuff. Um, at the beginning, we got some clothes that are like zero to three months, three to six months. That's for the beginning right now. We are going to get more. Um, we're going to get maybe a, we have some newborn clothes, but um, we don't even like I don't want to over buy newborn clothes because they're so fast. They're going to get out of it and I don't want to just like over buy it. But um, you can always go shopping. I mean, <laughs> that's the fun part. You can, you always, you're gonna, in the end, need to go shopping. Um, and so, yeah, so we, we bought also a lot of things, like, for his, for his diaper, like, changing table, and for the car, we also got a car seat, so, a lot, a lot of things. I, I mean, it's not a lot of things, but, like, essential things that we need for right now and yeah so that's pretty much it for my video um if you have not seen my last video i put i put up my new schedule my new filming schedule um that i'm gonna try to keep i really try want to be cons as consistent as possible but if i'm not consistent please do not like come on me um i'm gonna try to be as consistent as possible it would help if you guys would comment down some YouTube videos that you would like me to film. Comment them down below or DM me. My socials are going to be at the end of this video or down below. And yeah. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all. And have a nice morning. Have a nice afternoon. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. Whatever it may be. Love you guys. And bye.